What is up guys, Shockwave here and welcome to a brand new video. Today we are back here on OBS for another tutorial and today I'm going to be giving you guys what I personally think is the absolute best settings for recording 1080p 60fps with OBS. So let's go ahead and get started down here in the settings tab. You're just going to want to copy everything that I have. Um, I'll tell you when you can kind of do your own thing, go off, do whatever. So anyways, uh, in the general tab, you can do whatever you want, you know, whatever. I just have this set up. I'm pretty sure this is how it, you know, how OBS came. Um, in encoding, this is our first major tab here to work in. So uh, with the first glance into this tab, you're going to think, what am I doing? Buffer size zero, bit rate 1000. But um, from everything that I've read and from my personal experience, um, the way that it works is if you have your bitrate set to 1000 and your buffer size set to 0, what OBS does is it kind of fits itself in. So it'll do which of these you need in a way. This is how I understand it. But I might be wrong about that, but I know that this is you know perfectly fine. Um, this will work perfect um, for 1080p. Now, anyways, up here, encoder, you want to have time, uh, times 264 on. You want to, uh, I think use CVR is going to be checked. You want to uncheck that and change uh, your quality from 8 to 10. And you want to, of course, check use custom buffer size. Turn that to 0, max bit rate at 1000. Um, that's all to do with video. Uh, as far as your audio goes, if you want to have, you know, whatever, good audio, uh, leave this on stereo. Leave both of these the same. Bit rate's the only thing you need to change. This is going to be the best, but some mics don't really support this, and this is going to be the worst. I try to keep mine near the middle, you know, just, I don't know. Um, broadcast settings, this is not really that major, but um, it, you will start out with it on the live stream uh, mode. So you want to change that over to file output only. Change your file path to whatever you want. That's all you have to change, and replay, <coughs> replay buffer file path if you want to change that too. Um, be sure that this is on an mp4 file or it will be really weird for you I think um, as far as video goes uh, video adapter you want to choose whichever graphics card you're going to be using base resolution you want to have this at 1920 by 1080 because of course we're trying to record 1080p 60 FPS here 16 by 9 aspect ratio monitor choose with whichever monitor you're going to record at but uh, keep in mind if you do choose your monitor um, instead of custom then if your monitor is like widescreen, um, then this you know could affect it. You have to have 1920 by 1080 as your resolution. As far as resolution downscale goes, uh, I would not really recommend having one of these on. Uh, it just will mess with it, to be honest with you. But uh, you want to change your FPS from 30 to 60, of course. That's going to be it there. As far as your audio settings go, this is all up to you. Uh, just choose whichever like wherever you want your uh, sound to be coming through basically um, and then of course choose your microphone uh, down here you can actually turn up your microphone uh, volume and everything in OBS uh, if your mic's a little bit low like mine you can turn it up but I just like mine the same high keys you can do whatever you want I suggest setting your start recording and stop recording to the same key F12 mouse 4 whatever you like um, in advance, this is where everything gets really complicated, so try to kind of stick with me here. Some of the stuff, I don't even know what it does, to be honest with you, but I do know that this works perfect for 1080p, 60fps, no stutter, no lag, anything. So, you want to have used multi-thread enabled. You want to have uh, your process priority class on above normal. It's going to start out at normal. Uh, pretty much, this is like if you guys play Counter-Strike, you do dash high in your startup basically just puts it on high priority mode which means that your CPU, uh, your CPU, your whole PC basically knows that this needs to happen soon or this is uh, something that you really want done uh, so you want to have that on above normal scene buffer uh, leave this at 700 I think it starts at 700 uh, if not just change it to 700 disable encoding while previewing this is up to you all this does is just you know disable encoding while you're previewing um, allow the modifiers uh, for your hotkeys. Go ahead and check that. Now here in the video tab is um, going to be a very confusing thing for some people, and like myself, I don't know what half this shit does. But trust me, 
this does work. I've read on literally everything to get my stutter to go away in the videos, and I, I'm talking about the stutter in the videos. Uh, whenever I'm recording, I have like 200 FPS, but for some reason the video looks like I have down 4 FPS going down long, and it, it's awful. So this is going to fix that. Um, so you want to have your uh, CPU preset at ultra fast. It's going to start at very fast. And if you go up to ultra fast, it's going to make the quality worse. And it's going to use less of your CPU, I believe. And if you go to slower, it's going to make quality better, use more of your CPU or something like that. I don't really know. I think it's that way. Maybe have it backwards. But either way, ultra fast is where you want it. Super fast will work as well, but ultra fast is the best. And um, I don't know. This is <clears throat> this is very confusing for me, but it will work. Uh, you want to have your encoding profile on high, um, and if you're streaming main, but this is just for recording. Uh, you want to check use CFR custom uh, encoder setting checked, and then you want to type CRF equals 15 in this little box here, not CFR but CRF. Uh, two different things and that's pretty much it after that you should be able to record uh, 1080p 60 FPS and shouldn't have any stutter problems in your videos or anything like that uh, this helped out a lot for me so hopefully it helped you guys um, and yeah that's pretty much it so uh, if you guys did enjoy the video go ahead and hit a thumbs up and if this helped anyone out thumbs up any questions ask those down below and uh, yeah, hopefully this helped out.